Ah, yes! Rudy the Evil Puppet Master manipulating the world. So, today, this is what we got, folks. So, my patron, known as SFL Collectibles, we got a couple of these Double Masters collector box videos left in the queue. I think maybe after this video, there's only going to be, I think we got one or two left. And, of course, as with most things in the world, all good things must come to an end. So we're gonna go ahead and set up the video and get everything prepped, give you guys a little intro about what's going on today. Um, so obviously we're gonna crack these, see how we're doing, and uh, overall, we do these things by the case. We seem to have pretty uh, pretty consistent rates of return, pretty consistent amounts of the textured card. Everything seems to be pretty consistent uh, when we've been doing these by eight boxes at a time. Uh, we haven't really been able to get like extra textured cards. We haven't really been able to get a bunch of videos with zero. It seems to be pretty consistent there. So, which tells me also going into the new Dominaria Unlimited Money Machine. Dominaria Unlimited Money. Um, it, I think the uh, the Legends pool rate for those type of lottery cards are probably also going to be pretty consistent. They seem to be, Wizard seems to be pretty spot on um, with the track printing when it comes to these type of very rare uh, chase card inserts. It doesn't seem to have a lot of variance to it. So, which tells me they go out of their way to make sure that people who do open these on maybe either a larger scale or by the case or whatever, um, definitely can expect a certain amount. And that's going to be very interesting to see people when they crack, um, Dominaria Unlimited Money Machine. And if they start cracking those things by the cases, it's going to be very interesting to see people pull all the commons and of course a couple uncommons and of course chasing the world famous legend rare card, which is like, you know, one in every 15 cards. So yeah, you got to open a lot just to even have a chance at getting a single legends rare card. Like you need to do a lot, man. So obviously financially, that's not really going to be worth it that much, but the chase and gambler's premium is going to be a lot of fun for people who want to crack these things and uh, go after it. So, all right, everybody, we got our eight, uh, eight boxes full case set up here. We'll go ahead and set it up with four and four. And um, here, we'll just do that. All you need to see is the bottom, right? Can we do that? All right, so we'll start with the first one over here. All right, folks, so into the Thunderdome here. Uh, obviously, as of the filming of this video, uh, collector boxes are averaging maybe, oh God, I'd say something like every stack of four packs here is averaging maybe like 325 out the door with shipping and taxes and fees and everything. So they, they've not really gone down or anything. They're very expensive, so. Here we go, folks. Starting off with an unearth. We got the old chance rarities. We got the consoles of allocating your ex. Glimpse the unthinkable coming in with the liege and giant smothering big old tees. Wow, look at the art on that thing. God, that art is crazy. So we're starting off with a pretty decent pack there. No craziness, uh, but pretty average there. Obviously, the, the old smothering there is kind of uh, going to be your big hit of that particular pack. We're coming in with some turf. Young Pyros, we got the Pride Mage and the Gorgeous Blood Artist. We got Walking Grave for Rare One, the old Mime Man. We got the Etched Ash, ooh, and a Panharmonicon for our second hit. So, okay, a little bit of, a little bit of a slower start there. Definitely not the uh, home run start that we've had in some of the other box openings. Unearth, Terminate, Coiling uh, Oracle, Terminate again, and Chaos Warp for the first rare. Mr. K's Command for the Borderless. All right, Grave Tide, very nice etched, and Gifts Ungiven for our fancy schmancy one there. So we're getting all rares. That is zero Mythics. Is this going to be, uh, well, I mean, I'm sorry, we've had Mythics in the uh, the etch slot and everything, but is this going to be our first actual zero Mythic four-pack box? It's possible. Look at this, weird. Burning Tree, and a foil burning tree. Uh, very blessed, Eternal Witness. We got the old prize. And Grim Flare with the old Richard Kane artwork, always looking spicy for the rare. And Grave Crawler, uh, not looking the greatest in the etch. Too, too blacked out, too, I'm sorry, too washed out with the black colors. Doesn't do much for it. And a Bloom Tender, nice little throwback card there. So what was Bloom Tender? Can you guys, was that, was that Eventide? Or was that Lorwyn? Morning? Was that, maybe it was Eventide. Guild Pact? Well, that was box one. Um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. That was one of the worst starts to collector box opening videos I think we may have had. Um, just laying that out there, folks, that's not, that's not, box one was not successful. Unearth, Thought Scour, Coiling, Spell Pierce, and another Dragon Lord Double Ds for our Mythic again. 
and Mr. T's protection. And, ooh, now there's a nice one. That might be, ooh, etched altar. Gorgeous card. And a mana vault. Okay. So, starting off really strong in box two. That altar and the mana vault. Very, very strong box two start. Okay. I was like, dude, box one was, that was kind of, it was kind of weak. I'm not going to lie. That was not a successful start to this video, folks. All right, burning tree. All right, here we go. Another uh, chance ray. We got thought scour. We got sanctuary. Uh, Legion's initiative for disappointment. Hey, smothering giant round tees with ooh, that hand looks a little creepy. Always nice to see. Dax duplicate. I think first time ever in the etched. And a privileged position for. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that card. Kind of, you know, obviously protecting all your cards, you know, with hex proof, but yeah, it doesn't do much for me. I mean, what's the. I think the, that was the one with the. Yeah, high casting cost. All right, Mentor of the Meek. All right, here we go. Garrison. Lightning Bolt. We get the old Simic Growth Chambers. We got Mr. T's Protection. Great rare. Ooh, Force of Negation. Excellent. Be <laughs> just beautiful card, man. Master of Cruelties, our second etched mythic. And Grim Flayer, Richard Kane with the Full Monty. All right, that was a solid one there. Master, we had a mythic uh, etched. We had the Grim Flayers and Mr. T's Protection. Some good rares with that one also. All right, so that wasn't, it wasn't a crazy pack, but that was decent at least, okay? Sanctuary, Swiss Sphere. And Wall of Omens coming in, folks. Here we go. Queen for Kitty Cat Dragons. Gifts Ungiven. Again, the second one. And Hydroid Crisis Jellyfish Beast. And Mr. K's Command again. Wow, some strange duplication in this particular video. Um, that's box two. Eh. Not awful, but not just not that exciting. Not No blowout card. I mean, the first pack was probably the best with what? The Mana Vault? But in the Force of Negation stuff, but that was still, we're not getting a Young Pyro, Burning Tree, another Young Pyro. All right, Orary, very expensive rare. All right, Season Pyro, Borderless, very nice mythic, okay. And eh, Rhino, the Escort, Lady of the Night, eh. And the Mime again. God, we're getting some strange pulls. Uh, Mr. FSFL Collectibles, uh, not, we're not having the, the luckiest of luck so far. But again, it's early. It's early. We're not even halfway through. All right, Seeker. We got the Mushroom Rot Farm. We got the Glenelendros. Forbidden Orchard. Uh, all right. And God, we're getting a... Oh, never mind, never mind. I kept thinking the Wayfair was a, another etched mythic. And Force of Negation. There's a, probably one of the best rares in Borderless Fancy Schmancy you can get. Excellent. So it's our second Force of Negation. We got one Borderless and one Borderless Foil. We got one of each there. That's really nice to see. All right, here we go, folks. Flickery Wisp. All right, here we go. Oracle, Swiss Fear, Gruel, here we go. Figure of Destiny, Panharmonicon for the second appearance. And really, the Liege again? That's a little disappointing. And <sighs> the never-ending story, giant hairy-armed Rudy Sphinx. Okay, it is a mythic. It is a full Monty mythic, but it is really not what you, it's really not the greatest. Not really what we wanted to see, folks. All right, here we go. Unearth, uh, Sanctuary. Rakdos, Spell Pierce. All right, here we go. Gargadon coming in. All right, Orary. God, that art. I love the Orary on the art, man. Ah, oh, so nice. Uh, Rider again? Really? And Pithing Needle. Very nice. First appearance of the video. That art is insane. Dude, that is insane art. Folks, that's the end of box... That was box three already? Jeez. Um, okay, so we got five more. Um, this is going to be our halfway point box right here. Um, still no etched, or etched, why do I keep saying etched, or textured, still no textured, Wall of Omens, Seeker of the Shiny Heads, we got the Church, alright, Harvester for the Dragon, uh, hey, Jurassic Park 69 for the Shepherd, petting the old dino on the head, and he looks happy about it, very nice there, Concord, oh, whoa, okay, whoa, okay, triple, whoa, okay, Jurassic Park, etched Crossroads, and a Cavern of Souls. Holy smokes. Wow. That, <laughs> that's the best pack we've had in this video. Holy crap, is that an expensive pack. Oh my god. Okay, and that's, ladies and gentlemen, that's how quick your luck can change in this game. Another Hydroid Crisis, really? Assassin's Trophy for the first appearance. And uh, the Liege for the etched. Phyrexian Altar for the win. There you go. That card probably pays for the whole pack. This sucker, Borderless Foil Ultras are very expensive. All right. So, so far, folks, 
Uh, it's looking like box four out of eight is going to be our heavy duty winner right here. That one pack was just completely out of control. Hey, our first city of ass. We have had no ass all day. People are getting angry. That's our first appearance. Oh, and Marchessa with the Richard Kane art. That is, God, that's ridiculous looking. And the old battle axe in the etch. Doesn't look the greatest in etch. And Sensei's divining top for the borderless foil. Excellent. That's our first. All right, at least we're getting some different cards. Assassin's Trophy, we got some max action, we actually got the top. God, that one pack was insane, everybody. That triple mythic pack was just off the charts. God, that was... Ooh, War Leader. We haven't seen you, uh, Miss Angel. Uh, mythic for all... And Crucible, here we go. Double mythic pack. Ah, the worm. And a third, Panharmonicon. Okay, that was a weird box. All right, folks, box five. Here we go. Uh, box four is, I believe, is probably going to be our leader so far. Box four was a wild, dude, that was a wild box, man. All right, here we go. Get the old uh, common uncommons, Scylla, Oracle. We got the Mushroom Farms. Here we go. Very nice start there. Bitter Blossom for the nice foil Mythic. Force of Negation. Excellent. And we got the Sensei's Divining and the Grim Flare. Great start to box uh, five. Or box, oh, yeah, box five. Great start. Holy smokes. Okay. Come on. Come on, baby. Here we go, Turf. Oh, we got the Brothers here. Here we go. Brothers. Gifts Ungiven for a third. I think it's our third one in this video. Mr. A's Command for the first appearance. In it. And Surgical Extraction for the absolute ridiculous artwork there. That's, a, that's nice to see. Hey, you know what? We haven't pulled that all video. That was a nice one to see, man. That was a nice pull. All right. Pride Mage still giving us a funny look. Lightning Bolts. Carnival Action. Shiny Head Club. And, hey, Aria, huh? Our first appearance of Miss Aria, the enchantment. Mr. T's protection for the third appearance. Ah, why do they put this stupid card in every flippin' master set? Ah, it drives me crazy. Crucible of Worlds. Excellent. It is not... I thought that was textured at first. I was like, wait a minute, you can't get this one in textured. Crucible of Worlds. Very nice. Very, very nice full Monty hit there. All right. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. We got one pack left. Box, uh, box five there. Didn't realize that. Okay, here we go. Still no textured cards, though. So we may have our first video with no textured cards. Young Pyro. Growth Chamber. Got the old flail. Here we go. Smothering Tease. And the queen. Another kitty cat flipping queen. And another city of ass. This time, borderless foil. Our second piece of ass in this video. Excellent, folks. All right, here we go, folks. Moving in hot in a box six. Uh, no Eldrazi's at all, man. This is the first collector video. We've had zero Eldrazi's. How about them apples? That's kind of a strange one. Hardened Scales, nice little rare. Privileged Position. And Bloom Tenda. I always like the artwork on that. And a Pithing Needle. Eh, a bunch of, uh, kind of a bunch of $5, 10 $15 type range cards. Not terrible, but definitely not where we'd like to be to hit some big stuff on this video. All right, here we go, folks. Ready? All right, Splintery Fright. All right, Anger of the Gods for the first appearance of the video. We got Shifting Flame. Eh. And a Mana Vault. Full Monty. Foil Mana Vault Borderless. Excellent. One of the best pull. That's our second Mana Vault. I think the other one, was the other one foil? I don't think the other one was foil, though. Excellent. Our second Mana Vault in the video. Both Borderless. Those are probably our two top hits, actually. I think probably in the whole video so far. Double Unearth. Garrison. Here we go, folks. Anguished Unmaking. Brings back memories. Another Surgical Extraction. Non-foil this time. Crucible of... Oh, this is one of the cards. Ladies and gentlemen, I know the uh, these etch cards, a lot of people don't like them, but certain ones, and this is one of them, they pop. The etched man, this one looks fantastic. Oh, and the Orary for the win. Great pack. Okay, so one of the best packs we've had in a while. Look at that Orary, man. Dude, excellent. All right, so box six turned out pretty good, actually. Uh, between that Mana Volt and uh, that pack, that last pack, that was a pretty, we got some pretty good value there. Very nice to see here. All right, here we go. Damn Nation making our first appearance, everybody. I forgot about that. Ooh, Liliana. First appearance also, folks. No, it's just borderless. It's not textured. It's card number 333. All right, here we go here. Unthinkable. Oh, my God. I was just, <laughs> 570. Wow. Textured Lily. Dang! I was just like, no, folks, calm down. It's just a lily. It's not textured. Lily says, are you really going to do that to me? Hold my chalupa. Look at that, folks. Double tap lily. One 
texture. Dang. So, it, it does seem to hold true that every time we do a case, I don't even know if we've had, because we did, we did, we have a total of 10 collector box videos, and each collector box opening video is a case. So we vote, we're going to be opening 10 cases total, 80 boxes on the channel. And, oh my, are you serious right now? Oh, I thought we had a double textured. Look at this, folks. Flipping Kozilek Butcher. Nobody cares about Hostage Taker. And a damn nation borderless full Monty. Holy crap. Did this, dude, did this video just take a hard turn, man? Dude, that double lily pack. Oh, my God. That's what hopes and dreams were made of, man. A double lily pack with a textured heart and scales. Ooh, Divine Visitation. That one looks fantastic. And some of the cards in the etch do look really good. And Marchessa, very nice. Unfortunately, some of them don't. There are certain ones that just have a washed out, the contrast and saturation of the card and the art just doesn't look good with that etch work. Ooh, Planner Bridge, haven't seen you all video. Chaos Warp, first appearance. Supreme Verdict to make all your friends hate you. And an act. Okay, so those are a bunch of cards we haven't pulled, at least in the video. At least it's something different there. All right, so last pack of box seven as we get ready to go into the close, ladies and gentlemen. Love that foil inquisition, by the way. Oh, foil mythic Emrakul. The world famous Emrakul, Mrs. Aeons of the X. Very nice mythic. Oh, God. Okay, this video is going off the rails. Emrakul foil, Imperial extended. Beautiful Archangel and the Grave. Oh my god, look at that Grave Tide. Sorry, I haven't seen this. Uh, I haven't, think I've seen an extended a borderless Grave Tide. And, wow, that looks fantastic. Dude, what a pack to end box seven. Emrakul and a flipping Imperial in that one pack. Inquisition, very nice. All right, folks, box eight here. We got the Shaman hide in the trees. We got the Creepy X Bloom Tender in the trees. We got yeah, the Ooze and Grand Arbor. Oh, that was a disappointing pack. Last three packs of this video, we're going to be wrapping it up. What an ending. The last, that's what I'm saying, when you do these by the case, that's the best way to do it. I always caution everyone, unless you're buying from a really trustworthy source. Damn, Nation, part three. Ooh, the etched, see? Pithing Needle and Etch looks really good with that orange contrast, man. And a fourth panharmonic on a whole playset in this video. Um, like I said, that's the thing. When you open these by the case... The variants in things really level out quite a bit. In other words, double unearth there. Double A. Another eternal witness fool. Green Sun. Thousand Year Storms. People hate you. And ah, Hellkite looks terrible in Ash. Ter look at that. Washed out. Terrible looking. Hey, Assassin's Trophy. Very nice. So, but yeah, you guys notice that you can get many packs and it can be completely pounded in disappointment. But when you open these by the case, man, the difference is huge. We got the old Jota. Ugh, another privileged position. Ob Nixie for the first appearance doesn't look too bad. Usually the um, the black and silvers get washed out, but that actually looks pretty good. Actually, Season Pyro, Borderless Foil. That's a great mythic hit to end the video. Um, overall, fantastic video again. We start. But this is a great lesson to everybody watching these things. If you just open a random pack, or you buy a loose pack, or even one box, look at how we had some packs that were just full of disappointment and just lacking hopes and dreams, and then. We kept going in this video in double Liliana pack, flipping an Emrakul Imperial Seal pack. It shows that, you know, on a small scale, your experience is going to swing big time on this thing. But when you open on by the box or by the case, um, things level out quite a bit. You seem to, you always get the, I mean, we've had, we've had a textured card in every one of the videos. And I think this is like video eight out of 10. So we've had one, but we haven't had anybody get two in a case. We haven't had anybody get zero in a case. It's been one. So I've been really curious if we're going to have at least one video where somebody gets two or somebody gets zero. We haven't had that happen. So anyways, in conclusion, I don't care what anyone says out there. This remains an underpriced, underappreciated thing. This is the first Magic product in history to have textured cards. It's the first Magic product in history to have some cards... With Richard Kane artwork, they have some border. I mean, look at Season Pyro over here. The Man of Vault. There are certain artworks and certain variants in this set that are not going to be redone. Like, I don't see some of, like, a Season Pyro borderless here. That art and that version borderless. I don't see that exact card with that exact artwork being redone. I don't see Liliana in this textured version being redone in anything. That's my point. This product is, is very unique. And because of that, and it's not printed to Oblivion. 
If it was, everybody would have a million boxes for sale. I'd be running a, a second, third, fourth patron sale. It's not. It is what it is. Wizards, I don't care anyone shows. They don't print their shit to oblivion. I know we, we have memes and jokes, but the reality is this is a unique product. And um, the time is going to be very friendly to this. And I'm going to say it again, and I know people can uh, bash or say whatever you want, but uh, I firmly believe in the next 12, 24 months, these things are probably going to double in price. The opportunity for this thing long term is so massive. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Thanks again for watching. As always, I appreciate the honor and privilege to entertain. Have a great day.